How, how does it work? Do you just... Oh, nice! Okay, I think one of my favorites was when we came in to do Odyssey and I had it, you know, when we come in, we don't know what Nintendo has crafted and to see the script and to see what they've done. Um, first of all, the beautiful animations and we get to see that. And then the story, you know, and for me that ending was just amazing, you know? Enough! Like, no! <laughs> That's so good. And so that was probably my favorite to date. Yeah, thank you so much for asking that. You are beautiful. <laughs> oh, you are too. Thank you. Oh, and remember, remember, Princess Peach is queen. <laughs> Over here on the right. Hi, um, my name is Julia. I'm so excited to see you today. I always love playing all of Mario games. Um, I think you can pretty much recognize all three of your characters' voices like wherever, you know, even like a little tiny clip. Um, but actually, the characters don't say a lot of words or like a dialogue, especially about her. And so I was wondering, <laughs> um, how do you work on like characterizing each one of your characters when you don't have a lot of dialogue and like chances to, to do that? Directors help a lot. Uh, they're very good at what they do, uh, especially with me. Uh, they, you know, they're, here's the situation, do this, and then if they feel like it needs a little variation emotional-wise, you know, we'll do a few more takes, and they'll just gently steer me into the right direction. Every once in a while, I actually have some maybe partially finished animation that's been done, uh, so I get more of a feel about what's going on, but, uh, it's the directors. I gotta give them a lot of credit. Uh, because, you know, it could be or it could be You know, that sounds happier, you know? or It's it's bizarre, but that's how it works for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, these, these, these uh, characters, they're just minor all fun and silly and joyful and playful. So, you know, I just... I, dedicate my life to being fun and silly and joyful and playful <laughs> in order to support the characters. <laughs> the other thing too is these guys are great, uh, Charles, especially at improv, and so when they have lines for us, sometimes we'll just say what they wrote, but then we'll also say, what we know these characters, what would they say? And then we'll, we'll play with it and what they choose to take, but I think that kind of helps to get us in the zone so that the, the meaning, the full meaning, even though it wasn't a full sentence, is in there. That's a really smart question. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Darla? Hey. Hi, uh, my name is Peter. I'm a fan of the games for a while. Uh, Charles, I've heard the story of how you came to play Mario, uh, but I was wondering for the the rest of you, what's the story behind how you came to be chosen for those roles? Do you have any special stories, any fond memories? For, for me, it was pretty simple. I, I was sort of knew I was doing radio and I was doing a lot of commercials for just regular things like Amazon and uh, you know banks and stuff like that in Nordstrom. And a uh, guy said, do you have an agent? And, and the got me an agent, and then the agent sent me on this audition, and I had not played the games. So when I auditioned for it, I was just trying to mimic what Jet Taylor had done, um, and my voice was a pretty close match, and then I got the part. And so after that, then I started playing the games, and I just fell in love with them. And ever since then, it's, it's been, I think Peach and Toad have also kind of evolved, you know, over time, and they just keep working on who they are, but I had no clue. And honestly, Peter, if I would have known, like, <laughs> If I would have known how big it was, I probably would have been so freaked out I wouldn't have done very well at the audition. So, woo! You know, hey, I didn't know. Thank you. Yeah, for me it was um, being in the right place at the right time. Uh, I had started trying to get my foot in a door, you know, voice acting wise, and the right person heard me talking about it, and she happened to be a producer at Bad Animals, which is the studio where we Court. And they started sending me auditions, and when they recast Bowser, I, it was 
an audition like any other audition. And I did my best impersonation of Scott Burns because I thought that they would want a voice match. And uh, I got an email that said, you got the job. And I was like, uh, uh, what? I was kind of, you know, shocked. You know, I, I know the series uh, because I was no little kid when the original game system came out. So I was like, well, okay, I'll, I'll send this in and forget about it. And it was only a couple of weeks later I got an email and I was like, okay, I guess I'm about to now. So. And so, uh, but I, I, I don't know, I changed it a little bit as it went, time went by. And, and uh, it is what it is now, 18 years later or so, something like that. But yeah, right place at the right time, audition. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. But you also have to be ready for it emotionally. You know, Jack Nicholson said, it took me 20 years to make it overnight. Yeah. You learn, you prepare so that when you audition or do a job, you're not preparing or learning anymore. You're just playing and having fun. And that's what they did, as we all did. Well played. Thank you. We have Sonic right here. Yeah, Kyle Silva, number one Nintendo fan here. Thank you for giving me a chance to be able to meet with you yesterday. Um, this question I've been meaning to ask for Mr. Mark Day in regards to that. Mario 128 tech demo shown off at Space World 2000, the one with all the little Marios running around. I noticed that some of the, your high-pitched Mario 64 voice clips on there sounded very similar to noises made from the creatures Pikmin, from Pikmin 1, which that demo really? supposedly became. Uh, do you know for sure if Nintendo actually used your sped-up Mario clips for the final Pikmin game? You know, we go in, we, they call us up, come and play in the sandbox. We go play in the sandbox. And then my, my intention has always been, you know, there's the script. I read the script, and then I do as many versions of something different as I can possibly do before they go, stop talking. We got it an hour ago. And then they can make a million games when I'm long gone or retired and living on the Riviera. So I just have no idea what they do after I finish. But I hope it's a lot. <laughs> Thank you, it's a great question. I'll, I'll ask one day. The next time I see Mr. Miyamoto, I'm gonna ask you. Uh oh. Thank you. Hey Charles, my name's Ben. I got your autograph two years ago, and uh, uh, Ken, Samantha, it's so great to meet you. Uh, Charles, what is, one of my favorite things about Mario, besides playing the games, is seeing all the different YouTube videos, all the different voice clips people use. So, <laughs> what is your favorite Mario meme? Whether it be uh, Waluigi's Cheetah or uh, <laughs> Mario's Have a Rotten Day. What has been your favorite memeified uh, piece of life? I, I never look at those things, you know. But I, I, I just really don't. But I love the fact that creativity inspires creativity. You know, so whatever people do, it's, it's like that's really intensely amusing me. I don't, I honestly don't look, I, just, I don't know how people have time. I don't have, you know, it's like I talk about life, it's like I don't have time. But you know, I love the Wario, you know, everyone works there, yeah, you know, P.S. when he said, see something nice. You know, I think that's just fun. I mean, that's what I, I live for, fun. I live, and obviously for food, but you know. It's just that's that's what I do. So I, I don't know what they do, but I hope they're having fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Charles. Thank you. That's a very great question. Thank you. I gotta look for memes. Hello, uh, I'm Logan. I've obviously been a fan all my life. Okay. Uh, besides the characters that you play, what Mario characters do you think are your favorite, or something that you might want to? If you have the opportunity, we appreciate playing. You know, I'm completely contempt. I don't know about like, I, I, I'm not contempt. No, contempt, <laughs> not contempt. I'm completely contempt. I, you know, I have the best life. I, I travel the world. I do what I love to do. Every, every moment of my life is, tends to be preference, and that's why I wish I, that for you. You know, I, I don't have a. Oh gosh, if only I could do this. You know, I've been an actor for 47 years. And you do a lot of them, thousands of jobs, you know, and not, not all very good. But they're all fun, so for me, 
I, I'm really grateful that young people have the opportunity. I kind of stopped auditioning for things. I stopped doing things because I think it's time for young people to step up, to have that future, to 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 get what I got. You know, these guys are still young. They're going to go out there again. They're going to do more jobs. And I'm 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 blessed and content. Thank you. Don't you just love him? No, I'm a fan of the princesses, and one of our friends is Laura Faye Smith, who plays Princess Rosalina, and I love her so much. So just any time I get to hang around her, I love that. Um, Daisy is beautiful. I love all the cosplays that we've seen here in Boston. This is an amazing con, and to see the cosplays, I just wanted to thank every single cosplayer because you make us happy, and you make so many people yeah. happy. And there's personal sacrifice involved in dancing yeah. and wearing the thing. So. Um, I'm a, I love the princesses. I can't help myself. Do you love the princesses too, Kenny? Speaking of cosplay, did you did you see that Rose from Titanic this morning? It's the first time I've ever seen anybody cosplay Rose from Titanic. Wow. It's awesome. Oh, well, anywho, um, I don't think I would want to perform any of the other characters, but I will tell you that beside Bowser, who's my obvious favorite, uh, I think Yoshi is my second favorite. I like Yoshi. And then, it, you know, I, 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 Yoshi's just fun. What about Kirby? <laughs> you know, I, I never really experienced much Kirby. But, like Kirby. Uh, Kirby's cute. We go back to Super Mario <laughs> World, and the first time I saw Bowser, or Bowser, uh, Yoshi, I was just like, what? And the music that accompanied it, and I, Yoshi is one of my faves. He's my favorite too. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Hi. David, and uh, this question is going to be a little bit of a downer for me to ask, but you have a question the hearts of, I have to say, I appreciate sure everyone here. You were a part of all of our shop events, okay. and Oh god, it's gonna hurt. Uh, the, uh, okay. Let's take a breath, man. Take, take a second. It's okay. Uh, I don't want Thank you. you. Uh, you're, fishing. you're getting up there in age. You have like a. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Do you have a, a uh, choice for someone to reply to a role? Do you have someone in mind yet? No. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Look at him. Come on. <laughs> What's, What's your favorite Kirby game? <laughs> Every Kirby game. You know, I always say if, if I wake up in the morning and I see nothing but pink, I'm not dead. Kirby ate me. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Let me put my teeth back on for the night. <laughs> that was awesome. I hope they're not upside down again. Uh, hello, um, my name is Garrett, and just to say, it is really cool meeting you guys. Um, my question for you is, out of um, all the games you guys like, whether it's any Mario game, like Super Smash Brothers, which one was the most challenging for you guys to do? I'll say Smash was the hardest for me to play. <laughs> I was trying to play Peach. Ah, I can't do it. Um, the hardest to voice. Uh, I don't know. They're all fun. They're all fun. And, and I'll tell you this. I don't know about you guys, but I get nervous every time I go in. Like, I think, do I know how to do this? You know? And then when you get in and you begin it, it is just so there. So they're all hard for me before I do them. And then after I do them, it's just a joy. Yeah, I don't, I don't sweat it, but... Uh... I would say 3D World, um, Meowser, that was my most difficult session. They're all easy for me. And you know, it's like, come and play in the sandbox, we have some new toys, you know? I walk in the door like, oh my god, when I saw Odyssey, it was like, this is creepy. And then I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be great. My biggest problem is I have goosebumps because I'm having so much fun. It's a, you know, it's, it's the most fun thing in the world, but when you love something, it's the most fun thing. If you love truck driving, if you like cement mixing, it's the most fun thing in the world. And that's where you put your heart. We just got lucky that our heart was in 
the most fun thing to do in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have. Did you? Oh, your body is Bowser. I know. I, I can't. Well, I'm an old man. See, and I remember it's got yeah, my eyes. Two R's, two T's. My cataracts. <laughs> embodying these roles for the better part of two decades or longer and I wanted to ask um, what before getting the opportunity to voice these characters was your like what is your favorite pre Mario role that you have done or played personally I didn't really have much before this I was just getting my toe in the water you have propane now? You have propane? Yeah, I was in, yeah, well, yeah, I used to be a propane service tech, so obviously people would push Hank Hill at me, so. Do your sales voice when you visited someone to fill in propane. Oh, well, you know, it would be like, um, well, I sell propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, Bowser was really my first. Really, the start. I did a uh, uh, sunny day, a little sports announcer in the backyard sports series. I did that one for a long time. Uh, that was pretty fun. I just sat on the beach waiting for my pager to go off. <laughs> He's been Mario his entire life. So. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. That's 31 years ago for me. I'm up 38 now, so it's been a long time. Oh wait, no, 138, I forgot. Well, you know, I really like that you said we're still young. That's yeah. right. Thank you. You kids, I can't see you, but I can hear you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, my name is Brett. I've been a Mario fan since day one, and I cherish the franchise much like everyone here, including the new Universal movie, right? Yeah. And we thank everyone for making it onto the top three highest grossing animations worldwide. But my question is this, Mario as we know it today is officially pretty much 40 years old. With the Famicom and the arcade Mario Bros. and Luigi sharing this moment, this is for all three of you. What is your most cherished moment in Mario history, and where do you think the franchise goes from here? Ooh, We're at, question. so we can't tell you where the four franchise is going. But we do have every, you know, every moment's a favorite moment for me. Honestly, it's, you know, we live the, the most charmed lives. I hope I have an eternity to keep enjoying the, the memories. Invent, you know, just thinking this morning as I'm meditating away, all we have in life is, is our memories and our love. And that's it. That cannot be more true. Yeah, and so, you know, I just want more of all of those for me and for everybody. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It is, it, we're always excited about what's next and um, Everything else, it's just like in your life, you have chapters, things that you've done, and um, they're all beloved, you know? So, yeah, thank you for asking that. You yeah, I mean, I love this. I love all of it. And I uh, hopefully it'll continue for many more years, because uh, I absolutely love doing this stuff. And thanks to you guys, too, for playing the games, because that's why Nintendo keeps making so much amazing art. Thank you. Never go away with power. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We don't have much time left, so we're going to try to be brief in our answer. Hey, uh, my name is also Charles. Hi. Uh, what's the most interesting thing you've done in your in your guys' career? Yes. Play Mario. And it's been so totally fun for me. It's like, yeah, that's the most interesting thing. And it's 31 years, 165 yes. titles or more. You know, what could be what could be more fun than being the character that you want to be? Full of love and joy and authenticity and loyalty, trustworthiness, caring. You know, those are all aspects of, of humanity that I, I aspire to. So getting to play that, hopefully it's it's all somewhere in me. Falling into boiling lava and surviving. Yeah! For me, it's all of it. Uh, I'm always, usually on the same page uh, as Charles, where everything that we do is so much fun. Uh, and I've gotten my both feet in the door uh, doing anime now, so I've got that going now, too. And they let me speak English. So, you know, that's a good thing. 
Oh. He's pretty good. Who knew? <laughs> what do you mean he's here? Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brian. I was wondering, have you guys been to Super Nintendo World? Not yet. Not yet. No? Not yet. But I'm looking forward to it. I recommend it. Thank you. Thank you. I saw the one in Orlando is opening next year. They got the one in that leg going and the one in Osaka. If you get to Japan, I mean, that's amazing. Uh, hi, my name is Luke. Uh, my brother and I practically were raised on Galaxy. Seriously, I, I cry every time the title screen. Uh, my question was, what was the most fun game to voice act in? Just, just question. Not the most hard. Just fun. I, I don't know, seriously, all of them. It's, especially with Bowser, because uh, it's pretty much uh, Bowser. But, um, I, I had a, even though it hurt me a little bit, uh, I really enjoyed voicing Meowser in 3D World, so that's, that always comes back to my memory. What was your favorite thing in Bowser to say? In that particular... You know what? I think it was showtime. But for Meowser, he didn't really say anything. He just meowed loudly and painfully. <laughs> How did he taunt people? He taunted people. Oh. <laughs> Like, wow! Yeah, oh yeah, that, that was in uh, Mario Kart Wii. Yeah. Uh, they used an ad lib of mine, and I was blown away. Because I, he, he goes, It was an ad lib, and they used it. Oh. I liked recording for Smash, uh, where it was uh, the Peach says, Oh, did I win? Uh, that was. Hey, it's great questions, thank you. Thanks, Luke. Hey. Hi, Jack. Hey. So, first off, I want to... Is this thing on? First off, I want to thank you guys for the autographs earlier today. I think you guys know where this is going. <laughs> Kenny, you're an Earnhardt fan. You've got to know this one. I'm a NASCAR fan in general, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Peach, 100cc class champion. Uh... Can we get the characters just this once to give the command to start the engines? You know, we, we, we have a contract with Nintendo. Uh, what we're allowed to do is do what the characters actually say. I appreciate the creativity and the joyful of the idea behind it, but we don't want to get a phone call from the lawyers. Ah, uh, what are you doing? So, thank you. But you can do it. People can make a meme about it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We love our jobs. Thank you, though. Robots, start your engines! Woohoo! Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. We got to wrap it up really soon, so we want to take more questions. Rapid fire round. Sure will. Um, my name is Josiah Gonzalez, or it's a me, a Mario. I got a picture. I have a question. So, for the Mario movie, how is it like to have the cameo of Mario? Not actually about I'm supposed to We don't actually answer answering questions about the movie. I, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't answer anything. But, oh, okay. Oh, um, Phil, I have another question, though. Um, what is your favorite Mario game for you? <laughs> Mario Kart. Mario Galaxy. Sunshine and Mario Jesus Timing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mario yeah. Kart Day. Thank you. Oh, you look great, man. I love your outfit. Thank you for cosplaying, everybody. Yes. Hi Charles, hi Kenny, hi Samantha. Uh, thank you all for coming today. My name's Andrew. Uh, my question's for Charles. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting you last year at Fanfic Pro Box Booth. Uh, and yeah. the week after I met you, uh, a little movie called Dragon Ball Super Super Hero <laughs> came out. Oh uh, yeah. Where you play the villain Magenta in it. Uh, back the Red Ribbon Army. Exactly. Yeah, that was great. Uh, I want to ask how it felt to be a part of the Dragon Ball franchise, and how does it feel to have a very rare villainous role for you? <laughs> you know, it was so fun. Thank you for asking. Chris Sabat, Sean, all the guys working with them, they, you know, they, wonderful people, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I love every job I've ever done, but that was great. I mean, flew to, I was in Ireland and flew back to, San, to, to Los Angeles for the red carpet and things. It was a lifetime experience. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
That's why you always do what you love to do, and then little gifts come popping in from the universe. That was that was a gift, and a gift. And, and uh, Chris Sabat is the most amazing director. He's the actor's director, you know, and the engineers they have were superb. I mean, before I could say I want to do another take, they both, the guys already lined it up, and it's already got. And his name is Raleigh. Yeah, Raleigh. Unbelievable. Un Unbelievable. I used to do animation 30 years ago. I'm going to say, the last anime role that you had before this was uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah. Woo! And I did anime galore before that, you know, that you guys have but never heard of. Not, and it was such like, a different kettle of fish. You know, now these guys, the anime oh, actors Martin. are marvelous. They're, they're magical. The speed of turnaround, the writers, everything about it is amazing. And I learned to a new level respect for other performers to do that I don't what I don't usually do. I'm gonna say see Kenny basking over there in the in the pro. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're on our five minute warning so we got about time for two more questions on each side. Hi, um, my name is Katie. Um, um, this is a question for oh, Charles and um, I know we were talking at the beginning of the panel how you guys don't get a chance to really fully voice act the characters, but one game that you did get to do with Wario was WarioWare Gold, <laughs> and I was wondering just how that, because, you know, you talked about how much you love to improvise and, you know, do a lot with the characters, and I was just wondering for you, how was that experience walking in and knowing that you could actually do, like, a full game with Wario? I loved it, but I loved every single one. I, I believe the actor always has to trust the writers. And you know, for me, the creative teams at Nintendo are very specific that we don't do dialogue for an intention, that, and that is to keep the action going, to keep the thing going. Because if Mario stopped now, oh, look at this, it's a nice, da, 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 and went on and on and on, it would take us out of the game that was intended and put us in a different one, you know? So I have complete trust in the creative teams at Nintendo that they know exactly what they want. And in that instance, there was a lot of Wario talking. And I love his delusional evil. <laughs> Thank you. Great question. Um, um, I, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Um, my name's Tony. This is like an actual honor to be speaking to you guys. So thank you so much. Um, my question is, if you have the opportunity to voice a character from a different Nintendo game, not Mario at all, who would you choose? Anybody. <laughs> whatever, whatever they think I would fit, I would take it. So, because it's all good, it's all fun. That, so, seriously, anything. I would even try to be Princess Peach. I don't care. <laughs> I want to do it. Yeah. Act same is fun. Me. Yeah, same for me. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> happy and happy. Thank you. Thank you. And our last question on the side. Um, hi, uh, my name's Eric. Uh, as Luke said before, we were raised on Super Mario Galaxy. So, um, a question. Out of all the games in the franchise, which one do you think is your favorite one to play? Mario Kart is my favorite. I love Peach on a Bike and Rainbow Road. That's my deal. I love all card games, but I'm still very partial to Galaxy. Okay. Impossible to say. 64, Sunshine, and Odyssey for me. Because I love the nods back to those, you know, previous years. Sunshine has a certain place in my heart that, and I don't know why, but even more than 64. I don't know why. All right. Uh, Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Thank you guys so much. It's fitting for our very last question. Very last question. Hi, my name is Henry. Obviously, I have a question um, for any of you guys who are dancing. What was your favorite role that was in Super Mario? I really like playing Miyagi, Dr. Miyagi in uh, One Piece. And he's still going on, so. I keep getting to go back in and, and do more me out. So, you know, he's a goat and a doctor. One time I played a baby cow for a video about what happened. <laughs> I, 
I like these rolls the best. There's nothing that could surpass them. I would say Tartuffe and the, and the uh, play Tartuffe, that was 40 years ago that I did that. <laughs> uh, because I loved the character, but I also did Gremio in Taming of the Shrew. And that guy, now you see that guy, guy, oh, but I get these, ah! And that was the basis of the voice of Mario when they said, you're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn, make up a voice, make up a video game, start talking, and when you run out of things to say, that's your audition. And I thought, hey, get out of my face, I'm working here. And I thought, what if there are kids in the audience, I don't want to do that, I want to have fun. And I hearkened back to that voice, and that's what came out, is, let's make a pizza pie, you know? Ooh. That was that, so that, was, that ends up to be my favorite, circling right back to where we are today. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. We're going to go back to our tables. We're going to be signing and doing pictures. We have a photo op today, too. I don't know if people know, but there's a photo op of the three of us uh, with the show. But come and see us at the table. And thank you very much for playing my game. Woo! 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 Woo!